I think it is unfair that because one undocumented immigrant killed a wonderful human being, that all immigrants are being blamed for that, for that killing. Well, that's Univision host Jorge Ramos saying Kate's law is unfair. He's the same guy who recently got into a squabble with Donald Trump over his immigration plan. Katie Pavlich is here. All right, Kate. <laughs> Sorry, Katie, Kate Pavlich. Katie Pavlich. <laughs> what about Kate Steinle? How about being fair to her? That, and that's the big question here. And, you know, Jorge Ramos in this situation is defending criminals. He's defending lawlessness. And he has no respect, as he claims, for the families, not just Kate Steinle's family, by the way, many families around the country who are, country who are victims of violent, illegal alien crime. Now, we're talking, let's go over what Kate's law says here, because Jorge Ramos claims that Kate's law is unfair, not just to criminal, violent, illegal aliens who have been deported, but all illegal immigrants. Kate's law specifically says if you are deported from the country and you come back into the United States illegally, it's an automatic, mandatory five years in federal prison. That is pretty fair when it comes to looking at the types of people who we are sending out of the country. Remember, Kate Steinle's killer had seven felonies and five deportations. If we maybe had Kate's law in, in practice before then, maybe Kate Steinle would be alive today. Well, Jorge Ramos says that the law, Kate's law, stereotypes a whole community, blames mm -hmm. a whole community. Is that accurate? Does it? The only uh, people who are stereotyping is Jorge Ramos and how he thinks Americans feel about undocumented or illegal immigrants. I find it interesting how Jorge Ramos never gives Americans credit for actually being for a pathway to citizenship, a, a, a being very generous with the way that they share their country with people who come here, even illegally. It's also interesting that Jorge Ramos has no respect Sit for down, our please. laws when his own home country called. of Mexico has very strict uh, laws when it comes to illegal immigration. They don't treat illegal immigrants kindly there. And so this comes down to him thinking it's okay to break our yes, laws and not uh, willing to Thank embrace you, the yes. ones that we want to put on the books. Ramos doesn't seem to be behaving like a journalist. He seems to be behaving like a politician who is mm -hmm. advocating a particular political point of view. He seems to be in that mode at this moment. You agree? Well, and that is the, the, one of the you know, interesting parts of this interview is Jorge Ramos you know, will not directly say yes or no on whether he supports Kate's law. And he says, well, I'm not a politician. I'm not going to support or reject any kind of law when he clearly says that the law is unfair to illegal immigrants. He thinks that it affects everyone when really we're talking about violent criminal aliens who have been deported multiple times, who come back to this country and commit crimes that take innocent people's lives that could have been prevented. There's no excuse for that. And him, you know, speaking out against Kate law, Kate's law not only makes him an activist, which we all know he is, but it also, again, means he's defending criminals and he's defending lawlessness and has no respect for the laws of this country. Katie Pavlich, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Katie. Thanks, Stuart.